Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode 481, uh, featuring a look at the game World of Zine. Uh, now what I have here is actually uh, the dark, or dark side of Zine. Uh, it just happens to be the one that I have a box copy of. Uh, but this game and the one preceding it, uh, basically you got both of them and then they would combine into one giant adventure where you could take the characters all the way through uh, you know, both games. It's quite the epic experience. <laughs> and that, that combination was called World of Z. Uh, a totally fantastic series. You might have, uh, if you're like me, you started this series with uh, Mandate of Heaven or maybe the one after that, uh, 6, 7, and 8 basically. And you might wonder, you know, the games that came before, what were they like? You know, how well did they uh, stand up uh, to the first-person shooter style ones that came later? <laughs> so hopefully we'll answer all those questions for you uh, in the course of this video. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Might and Magic World of Zine. Hello folks, and welcome back to the show. Uh, in this episode, we'll be taking a look at Might and Magic World of Zine. So you might wonder why am I looking here at this Might and Magic 6-pack limited edition. Well, this is where you can get the game, as well as uh, five other games. <laughs> this unbelievable price. Two dollars, a dollar ninety nine. You've got to be kidding me. So this is, uh, you know, I'd be happy to pay, you know, that price <laughs> for any one of these games. <laughs> Actually, quite a bit more than that. These are all great, but I don't know how you can go wrong with this. You get um, some of my favorite games of all time with this: uh, the Mandate of Heaven, Magic, uh, Might and Magic Six. Again, that's, that alone is worth the price of admission, but anyway. Uh, we're going to be talking specifically here about the world of Z. And what that is, it's um, what happened, they, they put out Might and Magic 4, and then they have uh, 5, and then you can combine those games, take your parties, go back and forth between the worlds. They kind of combine into one sort of mega, <laughs> mega game, if you will. Uh, we're not going to be playing that long. Uh, I just wanted to uh, jump into Might and Magic 4. You know, maybe you're like me, one of those guys. Maybe you started the series with Might and Magic uh, uh, 6 there. You played 6, 7, maybe 8. <laughs> uh, hopefully uh, stopped there. Uh, but maybe you're kind of curious about some of these games that came before that. You know, I have looked at the first Might and Magic game, but that is really old. You know, that's pretty much Apple II era. Uh, so I think World of Zine is probably the where you might, if you want to play some of the earlier games, that might be the one. That might sort of be the sweet spot between, yeah, it's it's, it's older, but it's not so old that, you know, you would really uh, uh, have to, uh, <laughs> you know, start, memorize keys on the keyboard and, and such as that. You know, it's still fairly accessible, and I think it's the one, to, to me, that plays a lot like those uh, later games that I love so much. Uh, it doesn't. It won't have the uh, fluid movement, sort of first-person shooter style movement that you get with uh, six, but it still holds up pretty well, I think. Uh, and it is generally considered. You know, some people consider the World of Zine the best, um, the best of the series. Uh, so we'll see. Um, it does have some interesting issues that we can get into. Uh, now it is, uh, as I said, it's not so inaccessible, like some of the games from this era. When was this put out anyway? Uh, let's see, maybe the clue book could tell us, 1992, I feel like it was a little bit earlier than that, but um, I still think it would behoove you, uh, when you get download this from GOG, take a peek at the manuals, and they always give you some, is this the manual, this is the clue book, also comes with the, uh, the game, very helpful here, if you get stuck, you can come here and look at the maps, kind of see what you're doing wrong, I think it probably also has some, uh, does it have tips? Looks like it might have some tables and things in the back. You know, if you're familiar with this series, one of the things is always trying to find the trainers and uh, people to level up your skills and so on and so forth. You can either take notes yourself, uh, or you probably want to have a, a clue book handy or a website handy. Uh, here's the, uh, I think this is the manual. And they just combined it all. You can see who worked on it there. JVC, of course. You know, I feel like these games are probably where you get more JVC, too. This is back when he was still... He's, of course, most heavily involved uh, with the early 
early game, so I think he was still fairly heavily involved at this point. I just love the uh, <laughs> sort of fun artwork you get in these manuals. <laughs> you know, I might actually have a printed copy of this lying around somewhere. But this uh, manual gives you a bunch of backstory. You know, these might and magic games, it's not like you're they have these epic stories that you need to worry about, but you know, still you might want to know what you're doing. Tells you about the statistics and things. Oh, it looks nice there. Yeah, so you can see even from this little shot in the manual, the uh, the graphics aren't aren't all that dated. You know, heck, there's a lot of retro style games out now that are look pretty much exactly like this. So you shouldn't feel too. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, you should feel uh, pretty comfortable with this. Uh, we'll see how we go, though. You know, I've never played these. Very, you know, I played them a little bit just here and there, but you know, never sat down and like really focused to see, see if I could get through the first level. So my plan in this uh, this video is to get get some characters created and see if we can get through the first town. We'll see how long that takes. Uh, maybe the second town again. We'll just see how long it takes. I don't want to spend too long in this video. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think that's enough preliminary stuff. Uh, uh, let's get the game up and running and see what it's all about. All right, we're going to do the CD version. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't take itself real seriously. Some people have actually criticized it for that. I think it's a bit silly. So that says Dark Side of Zine. But I think it was originally called something else. Inconceivable. The Royal Pyramid is aged. With the prophecy almost fulfilled, the arrival of Avatar has placed my mission and the fate of Zine in grave danger. <laughs> the glasses are a nice touch. Queen Kalindra. My Pharaoh, I'm a prisoner. All is lost. <sighs> then what has become of the cube? I have it now, Pharaoh. Eleanor, you misguided mechanism. You will destroy us all. <laughs> <laughs> misguided mechanism. My monstrous friends, are you with me? My friend, Ellinger, you must send help. But, Pharaoh, I too am trapped in my tower. Then I will send out the orb. The destiny of Zine is no longer in our hands. Seek help, little one. This game's always going to have this mix of fantasy and sci-fi. I mean, that looks like something out of a heavy metal movie. <laughs> that looks kind of like a another world Amiga game. Dark Side of Zane. So I think that was the title sequence for this fifth game. Do I have it right? Now what are we looking at? Okay, we have World of Z. Let's take a minute to enjoy the music and the ambiance. So, you know, people that were playing this, this is, there's a lot of game here. You know, this could take you months and months. Or, <laughs> depending on if you use cheats and exploit the game, you can get through it really quickly. So. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that. I've tried to play a game as they were intended to be played. Not uh, not take too much advantage of things like the wells, the passwords, that you might know already. Let's see. Start a new game. I'm going to go ahead and just do a new one so we can create some characters. And so a name for this game, this would be called Dimitri. 
sure what this select game preference. Let's see what this does before we make a decision. Okay, it took me a minute to find that. I was not even in the manual, but uh, apparently the adventure is kind of the easy mode, dumbed down mode, and the warrior uh, is the default. So this is not necessarily the Iron Man mode or anything. <laughs> so we'll just try that. Okay, and you see it just plops you right in. I thought we'd at least get to make some characters. Let's see, did I mess up somehow? Let me, uh... What's going on here? Why do I already have characters? I thought I would get to make my own. Somehow, there must be a way to quit the game. Let's quit. This goes back to DOS. Okay. Well, let's try it again. Maybe I have to go in and delete those characters. Let's see. World of Zine. Check. And skip that. Start a new game. Start game menu. Alright, try another one. Start game menu. Match chat 2. Okay. Warrior. It's so weird. You, it just starts you off, I guess, with these default characters. Okay. Well, I think we could still create our own. Hello, travelers. <laughs> Hello, indeed. Yeah, look at that artwork. That's, you know, really nice. Goodbye. And the sprite graphics, you gotta keep in mind how difficult it was to make anything look like those hands. I mean, that was quite an accomplishment. I think back in the day that would have wowed you just in and of itself. Okay, these are probably fine, but I'm going to go ahead and just remove everybody, if I can. Remove which character? Okay, oh, I guess you do it this way. Okay, remove, remove, remove. Okay, now we can create. Ooh, I like the little... Little bouncy dice. This looks a little bit like the Logan's Run guy. Was it Peter? What's the uh, Logan's Run actor? Looks a little bit like him. Okay. I want to start. I got a little guide here about a recommended party for this game. They recommend you start with a half orc barbarian. select race. No, male is good. Oh, there we go. I gotta do it this way. Alright. <laughs> Let's do a half work female barbarian, just like I play in my D&D campaign. Okay, then I guess we just roll for these. Can we tweak these? Exchange might with... Oh, well. 20 for might. Intelligence probably not so essential. I think I might trade this personality for accuracy. Speed, endurance. That looks pretty good for a frontline character, I think. I got Barbarian selected there. Don't see anything in the skills category. Maybe that comes later. Okay, is that good to go here? I haven't selected a name. There we go. And I was going for character names from the Discord Matt Chat channel. Okay, let's see if this is working before we create a bunch more. There's Bunny. <laughs> okay, and then next up I want a... 
dwarf robber. I think we'll let that be my character. Dwarf. Hey! <laughs> I guess there's only one. One portrait for each selection. Okay, and I guess we can keep rolling until we get some good scores. Can't have my namesake character out there with uh, crappy rolls. So I guess these go all, all the way up to 20. That's pretty good. Okay, we want to... I think a rogue needs... Uh, what do they need? You think it'd be accuracy? Let's make sure I'm in the right ballpark here. Come back and look at the might, intellects for rangers and druids, personalities for rangers and druids, accuracy, luck. What does a good uh, rogue need in this series? Alright, I'm just not able to find very good guidance here, so I'm going to just go with what I assume is good. Um, they said, I did see that, that uh, luck is very important. So, for a robber. So, let's try buff that up. I think might might be good for all the melee classes, actually. Might trade the uh, speed for that, although I do like the idea of a speedy thief. I don't think personality's all that essential, so maybe swap there. So, I don't know if this is ideal or not, but we're going to go with it. Skills thievery and danger sense. Okay, this is going to be met. music to listen to. these rules. Not too bad, huh? Now, I think a paladin... Can a paladin cast spells at some point? Are they strictly melee? Paladins, paladins. Oh, the world for a helpful <laughs> clue. I'm gonna check the manual here see if it gives me any advice. your characters. Okay, this is nice. You can't see it, I'll just read it to you. Might is a prime stat for knights and paladins. Int is the prime stat for archers, sorcerers, druids, and rangers. Personality is good for cleric, druids, rangers, and paladins. Endurance, paladins, barbarians, and rangers. Speed is good for ninjas and rangers. Uh, accuracy is good for archers and ninjas. And luck is the prime stat for robbers. Who did that right? So we want basically personality and might for our pally. Okay, easy enough to do. So we're already set up. Actually, this looks pretty good. I don't like this, the bad speed and accuracy, but it's okay. Skills, Crusader. What does that mean? So many things it doesn't tell you. <laughs> Welcome to 1992. Crusader. You don't need a crusader if you what is a crusader! Uh, okay, hold on one more minute. Okay, so apparently Crusader allows entrance to certain areas of the game. 
All party members who wish to enter these areas must possess this skill. Okay, so I guess it's a good thing to have. Swimmer. <laughs> At least I know what that does. Okay, and this character would be Vilton. I need a Maiko. Oops. Wait, are we creating a new character? Oh, that's... I need a human archer. Human archer. I guess it does give you a different portrait. You scroll long enough. Now I think an archer. I'd like to look at the little guide here one more time. Pretty sure an archer needs well accuracy, obviously, but uh, probably intelligence. Archer. The archer is as good a fighter as a paladin. The archer starts with ability to cast sorcerer spells. The archer starts with the secondary skills. Intellect and accuracy are the ones that we need. <clears throat> okay, so that makes sense. Uh, let's see if we get a little better than that. That's a good balance, I think. Okay, so it's intelligence. Put our best score, I think, in accuracy. Next best in int. I think I'll just leave the rest alone. No archer. I thought I selected that. Okay, good. This will be Maiko. How many characters is that? I think we got at least one more. No, two more. We got a gnome cleric and an elf sorcerer. Let's get the gnome. Hey, got a gnome. Let's see who have I not used. Got Grisius. Grisius. What am I making? What did I say? Gnome. Uh, gnome cleric. Cleric needs personality. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? See if we can get some decent rolls here. Ooh, that looks got one low, but I like the 19 there. So let's put that 19 there in the personality. Ooh, I don't like that endurance. That ain't gonna work. Let's swap that there. That's a low accuracy, so they're gonna be just missing every time. And again, the speed I think is how fast they get to go in combat, so if you need to cure wounds or something, you probably want that to happen sooner rather than later. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Cleric. And thy name shall be... Actually, how do you spell that? Grisius. 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 Okay, we need one more, and that character should be an elf sorcerer. Not the, not the typical elf. <laughs> like somebody from Avatar. Navi. Okay, who is left? I've got an eel bat here. And I have a snap, snap, snapper, snappy, snap, stop. Got an eyes of toke. Lobster. I think I used him last time. Let's go eel bet. Sounds vaguely elven. You know, from what I hear, there's so many wells and ways to pump these stats. It's not even a, that big of a deal, but nevertheless, I can't help myself. All right, probably don't need that much might as a uh, sorcerer. I would think speed would be nice, and accuracy is probably important. Personality, probably not so much. Okay, I think that that's a bit high for luck. I think luck just gives you resistance. 
So maybe go for a little more accuracy. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Sorcerer. Oh, they got cartographer as a skill. Let me use my auto map. Yeah, old bet. Alright, let's put this party together. I don't think it probably doesn't matter so much. Remember, there's if you play these games, it doesn't really do the front and back rows so much. This one might. I don't know. I haven't played it, obviously, enough to know, but in my experience, the, the monsters can hit any of the characters. So, what do we want up next? Uh, didn't I make go do the paladin, I think? I'm not gonna put the mages in the front row, I just. It's not done. <laughs> Blanco, look at this good looking group, isn't it? Who is missing? You have been over here. Alright, let's see. How do I see their inventory? Uh, I for item, maybe? No items available. Equip. How does the... Must be an inventory screen here somewhere, right? Or is it? Oh, the beauty. You always have to learn how to use the new interface. Quick. Quick reference chart. Okay, so these guys have nothing? No, no items at all, huh? Why is that flashing? My mouse keep disappearing. What is going on here? Right. No items. Weapon. Armor. Disc. Quest. What happens if I right click? That's what happens. So I got nothing. Okay, I need to rectify that. This is the tavern. I guess I need to find a... I don't know if I can fight that slime, but no, uh, no weapons. I guess I'll we'll have to. Got him. Now this yellow, I think it's, uh, yellow means they've taken a little bit of damage. Ooh, down to two hit points already. And one of the things that I did read about this game that is concerning... is that your characters age and you really want to only rest if this absolutely have to because they start to lose stats after a while from Welcome old age to sadly most of the population has left because the town is infested with pests a couple of years ago i hired joe the exterminator to rid the town of this menace but the problem seems to be getting worse perhaps you could help You get that? Let's go ahead and save it. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and turn text on, I think. Where is the. I might have to look at a map here. I don't know if it's okay to leave that on. Let's see, where is the weapon shop? Blacksmith 4. Blacksmith is down at the southern side of the map. Okay, that's facing north. I guess we don't have our compass yet. Actually, what kind of spells do we have available here? No, this was cast. Spell ready. Light. Cast. New. I guess it doesn't have that nice spell book from the, the other games. It's only got one spell. What about Sorcerer? Awaken Light Magic Arrow. Okay. 
that's going to be very useful. I wish I had my compass. No, I don't want to leave. It says the, uh... There we go. <laughs> we go to the counter and get some weapons. What are you? And just like those later ma magic games, you want to give everybody ranged weapons. Now, I don't know if they need arrows. That's always another question when you start a new game. So let's see. Glaive, cutlass. That does not look like a cutlass. Short bow. Is there, is this it? Or is there like a scroll up and down? Access. It's pretty cool stuff. Okay, well, just going by the. Uh, I guess you can go by the price of the weapon, or you could look in the book and figure out what the stats are. I've got 800 gold, so I probably don't want the most expensive stuff. Why don't we get a. Glaive. What the heck's a glaive again? I don't know, just go with a bronze cutlass. Get some armor, scale armor, chain armor. Apparently, the barbarian can't wear that. Glowing ring. I'll probably skip skip that for now. Okay. Let's see. Now this must mean they can't use it. That's handy. Whoops! Forgot to get the short bow. Oh, there's. Limited quantities of those. <laughs> That's not good. I want the paladin to have a weapon. I guess I'll give him the broadsword. Or a chainmail. Almost out of money already. Whoa. No. Yes. I want to give the cleric some armor. I guess I'll give this guy the robes. Wow. Well, I guess you get a staff. <laughs> yeah, Wakashashi? What the hell is that thing? Let's see, I got 160 gold left. Well, I guess I can't use any of that. I'm definitely going to have to uh, rearrange these weapons a little bit, I think. I can't afford that now. Whistle of Fists. No idea what it does. Well, let's just exit. Okay, let's go ahead and get this gear on these guys. Wait, I thought you could equip both of them. Weapons. Oh, maybe I was, uh, just dreaming. <laughs> oh, why did it go away? How do you equip? Oh, equip. Equip. There we go. Equip. There we go. That's how you do that. Chain. And it looks like maybe we don't have to have arrows. That would be nice. Does he have that equipped already? Weapon. Okay, equip the broadsword. You and your fancy broadsword, Dalton. Equip scale. No weapons, that's not good. You know, I think I might trade, can I tr swap that item somehow? Robes. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Got a staff. Poor Eobin has nothing. Rim. 
rim mean? Remove. Oh, okay. Discard quest items. Hold on. No, it's nice. Quite sophisticated for the time. So I don't even have a cure wounds. Oh, let me see if the cleric has that. I gotta try to figure out too how to uh, how to get my spell slots back. If that's gonna be a thing. Cast. All right, good. Let's try it again. And then on the barbarian. I keep putting the wrong button. All right. Let's see, how many spell points? Five. How do those recharge? Alright, let's pick it back up. Alright, everybody's looking good. I was trying to figure out how they recharge the spell points. I think that just happens over time. Hey, you see these uh, little bat with his mouth? I think that indicates that there's danger near. I've been spotted by somebody. These little gargoyles on the side do, do stuff too. I forget what skills they go with. And even these crystals will change color depending on certain spells you might have active. So this interface is it's pretty it's pretty neat the way they set it up. Okay, let's see. What else do we need to do? We have to find out what's going on with the bug problem. To do that, we need to find Joe. Is that who we need to talk to? Let's see. I think everything's kind of local. Maybe I'll just wander around and explore some. So we hit M. Not the most attractive map I've ever seen, but it'll do. Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Lady Geraldine Stavern. Good old Geraldine. And there's our ironworks. I think that's... No, oh, there's a little path over here. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, I got a little bit of a slime problem there. Let's see. How do I, who will open the grate? Try my handy dandy rogue. Now we can back up and hit S. And that shoots arrows. I sure hope I don't have a limited arrow supply and I'm just like running through the arrows, but I don't see. I just see short bow. I don't think they had arrow counts or ammunition, I guess I should say, in the other games. Man, look at it. How the heck did you get down to one hit point already? Jeez. That experience next level. Oh, they got a long ways to go. A long ways to go. Okay, let's go ahead and cast another first aid spell. Okay, so now he's got four spell points. So let's see how long that takes to recharge. Recharge is relatively quickly, it won't be an issue. Well, killed that guy. Ooh, a crate. Nothing. What a waste of a good crate. Man, that is... <laughs> I guess that's literally the bottom edge of the map. Let's see, not too far from item four. The blacksmith have been there. So I'm back behind the blacksmith right now. For those keeping score. It's up in the grate. I think I get a little XP for that too. Let's see. Yeah, he's got a little more XP than everybody else. Oh, Matt, because he's just a. Luck. Wait, what the hell? I've got another little map open that I'm looking at here. I think there's. I killed that one. Whoa! What the? <laughs> oh crap! Where do these things come from? 
Damn! Whoa, that was brutal. Jeez, knocked him completely out. Well, that wasn't very nice. Yikes! Okay, gotta use first aid on... No, 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 no. Cast the spell. You gotta be casting that about a hundred times now. Let's see, what is it? Cast. Cast. Wow, I didn't even... Gotta be a better way to do that. Yes, cast on. Okay. I keep accidentally thinking I gotta click the guy. I got one more of these. Let's see, who's got the most damage? Uh, hit points. It's like Myko. Cast on Myko. Okay, he's back. Wow, so that was that was intense. Okay. Yeah, what's this? A bed. Who will search? And a oh, got the same bed. I clearly see some sh good sheets. There's another one of those slimes. Ah! Some, am I picking up gold as we're going along here? You know, in the other Might Magics, you always got gold every time you killed something. Uh, how do you get the inventory again? Party gold, 160. So I might want to go back and see if we can get some additional gear. Ooh, map found nunchucks. Pretty badass for some nunchucks now. So he could equip the. Oh, he can't equip those. Uh, who can? Oh boy, let's see. How do you exchange with. Let's see, maybe the. Uh, no! <laughs> How do you swap items? Oh my god. Item. Nunchucks. Remove? No. Discard? No. I want to give it to somebody. <laughs> How do I exchange the item? Uh, weapons. Remove? Maybe that's what you do. No. Well, I don't want to discard it. Okay, come on. How do you swap items out? It's not exchange. It's not that. Okay, I guess I have to look it up. Man, thank God for the internet. You know, you didn't have that back when this came out. It was like 92. I didn't have the internet back then. We're still dialing up bulletin board systems and being a little mini map troll. Alright, so you highlight it and then you click on the person. Bada boom. Oh, we can't use it either. Can anybody use the. Oh, okay, here we go. We gotta take her. <laughs> the pally with nunchucks. Oh, you must remove the broadsword before you can equip the nunchucks. Sully. Alright, so who needs the broadsword? Can the cleric use it? Of course not. Apparently the archer can use it. Let's go ahead and equip it then. Hey, can we just say say that if you equip another item it automatically removes Shut up! I made a rim button and I got an icon for it, and we're gonna use it! Staff to Eobet. <laughs> Eobet. Alright, you got staffs. We're, we're coming up in the world here. You know what? I think that might even warrant a save. Okay. Let's see. Do we have spell points back yet? 
milk completely out. And it looks like the, oh, the paladins. Our pally have any spells to contribute? Light. Don't need a light. Gotta be quick on the drop. Man, I'm nervous now. I got jump scares. Those, like a hundred bug doom bugs come out of nowhere. Okay. I'm all paranoid. Oh! Man, look at that. They already wiped out two of my guys. Nothing here. Okay, so I, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm out of magic. I could try to rest. I know that wastes. Uh, you know, you've only got so many days. Let's just see if I can make my way back out of here. Maybe I can close that. Let's see. There we go. Nice to go back. There's supposed to be a temple around here somewhere, right? There's the tavern. Do I automatically heal up in the tavern? Probably not. Hello, travelers. Food. Drink. Okay, that'll... Probably didn't help. Rumors. They say there is still gold in the Empire Hills to the north. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would a tip help? Thank you. One entrance to the Dwarf Mines can be found to the west of Vertigo. Just follow the paved road out of town and turn right at the dirt road. Oh, thank you for that. Very helpful. This guy's still unconscious. Goodbye. I don't think that does anything. Man, that's a that's pretty cool that animation. Yeah, that achieved nothing. Uh, well, I didn't see a. There must be a temple or something around here. Get my map pulled back up again. Temple is due north. What's that? Where to? Oh, yeah, those are like teleporting crystals. Okay, what's this? I'll put anyone on the guild roll for free. Dues will cost 25 gold, though. Guild? I think this is maybe where you learn spells. Not sure what it means by dues of 25. Slime temple. Town well we get damage. Don't want to take damage. Try the slime temple, I guess. Sam was the church to heal. Ten gold to heal? That's kind of expensive. It's going to take all my gold just to heal these guys. Let's see if I can heal him, maybe. Let's see if they gave him a spell points. Didn't give him a... No, he still doesn't have a spell points. Jeez. So I might just have to, to camp, you know. I know your character's age, but uh, I'm not sure what else to do at this point. I think it'd be a little too expensive to... Eight hours passed, rest complete, hit points, six food consumed. Does he six food? Does that mean I have no food now? Food for four days. Okay. I need to go back to that armor shop. Why those maps? What's this? I will take Jaddy one God dog. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've already got cartography. So let's go back to that weapon shop. I think I need to buy some more armor. <laughs> My characters are gonna be like a hundred years old by the time we get out of this first place. 
He's got scale, 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 robes, and nothing. What do you want? Looks like they replenished some items. That's good. All right, at least buy the robes. Okay, weapon. He's got a staff already. Try this one at a time. And items, armor, equip, ropes. Okay, he's got a staff, broadsword. So a couple of my guys. Oh, he doesn't have anything. No weapons. Okay, well, let's get him a weapon. What do you want? Uh, I can use a staff, apparently. Even think about. Don't even look at that plate armor. What? At least we got a staff now. <laughs> Pretty badass with the bow staff. Red save, yes. Kind of lost the thread. What are we supposed to be doing here? Let's see, 11 and 12. Cartographer Joe. There's supposed to be some green. There we go. And then over in here somewhere, there's the map place right here. Oh! Damn, again. Two years ago, I came to this town on contract to control the vermin infestation. It has been a long, hard job, but I've just about got the situation under control. Sounds like the guy from, kind of looks like him too, that guy from Adam's family. Two years. Okay. Nice. Sound a little bit less than honest. Okay, not doing too terrible. What about, how far am I from leveling here? Not too far. I can survive a few more battles. We might actually, uh, Make it out of here. There's some more slimes. Keep backing up and oh. it's kind of they move weird. You can't like just back away from them. almost like they didn't want to make it too easy. <laughs> okay, somewhere in here. Yeah, Joe's storeroom. Oh, crap! Dead! I can't have that. Okay. Load. Must be a little bit lower on health than I thought. Uh, where's his HP? It says condition good. Um, I'll go ahead and cast a spell anyway. I got two people out, looks like. Problem Matt was out. Okay, let's try that again. Matt's down. Oh, the cleric's down. Oh, that sucks. So now I can't use my spells. Resurrect these guys. I'm gonna have to get out of here and go rest again. No answer, nothing else to do this time. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> Holy cow! This is one weak ass party. Jesus. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to 
really waste a lot of stuff. Several days of, uh, I wish you would tell me what the maximum is on those guys. Let's see, how do I find that out? Uh, oh, HP is over there. Oh yeah, he's he's still really low. Let's just bring them all up to... Try to get them back to green as much as we can. Still not quite comfortable with this interface. All right, one more. Okay, everybody looks like they're good again. All right, damn, this is tough. Probably should have tried to get at least one level before coming in here. <laughs> Careful. Oh boy. What do we want to do? Shoot that one? And they all move forward. I think I was just running and gunning on a little bit too much. You just got to take your time and plan out your moves a little bit more. Oh! Well, that was nice. Let's save it again. There's bugs in these crates. I guess it's easy XP. Oh, I got one spell point left. I guess I can res him. Okay, you bet. Come on now. Found a halberd. Oh heck yeah! Uh, halberd. Okay. A <laughs> little bit clunky interface. Oh, he doesn't even have a weapon equipped. Well, now you do. You got a Hubbard. Save. Okay, what's in there? I bet you it's a bug. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in the crate. I guess I'd rather have nothing in the crate than a bug, but still. Is that all of them? Oh, there's one. I can't tell if these things are attacking in real time or if it's a turn-based thing. Plate mail? Oh, there we go. Plate mail? Yeah! Come on! That's awesome. Armor. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think the rogue could wear it. What about the pally? No. I mean, the cleric. Cleric can't... Okay, okay, remove that, equip that. So let's see. This guy's got scale, scale, plate, scale, robes. Maybe the archer might be able to wear the scale. Let's see. Looks like they can. Okay, remove the robes, equip the scale. All right, so that's looking good. Everybody's got it, except for the Eobet. Poor old Eobet. Poor Eobet. Unconscious again. I don't have any. No spell points to res either. I don't know if they get XP when they're unconscious. Oh, I see a slimy. I see a little slimy, slimy behind the crate. Can I shoot beyond the crate? Yes, I can. Okay, a little slimy boy is down. Who will open? Ring mail. Is ring mail better than scale mail? Let's see if we can figure that out. Oh, this guy's got experience. He's eligible to train already. 
Nice. 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 Okay, let's see. He's got... No, 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 no. How do I... Um... Exit. So the AP, I remember seeing that it said that the higher this is, the better. So let's try this. So it's four right now. Let's put on the... No, no, no. Remove the scale. <laughs> Equip the ring. Oh, so that is better. Okay, so he's a little bit better. Probably should give it to the cleric. Instead of my rogue. Assuming he can wear it. Let's see if the cleric can wear it. Remove the ring. Let's just do this instead of. Yeah, you can wear that. Okay, good. I'm going to give him a little bit of an edge. Make sure we put that back on. Okay. Doing better and better. Who will open? You know, next time I'm just going to wait and see if it just keeps attacking. Inside the crate you find a piece of paper that reads Breeder Slimes, one mated pair, 287. Five doom bugs, 145 each. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it appears that Joe has been buying monsters and distributing them around town. Mayor Gunther will want to hear about this, I'll say. Okay, so if I just sit here... Okay, so he's animating. But it's definitely turn-based. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that. Is, uh, is that different bugs? It kind of looks a little bit like a real-time game. Oh, what the heck? Paladin's out, out of commission. I don't know if we'll get out of here. We, let's see if I searched all the crates. I think we're done anyway. All right, well, let's go back and find Gunther. Turn in Joe and get our XP. I think he's in a the tent here. for cleaning up Vertigo and discovering Joe's treachery. <laughs> now it makes sense why the extermination of the pest was taking so long. I present you with the Outstanding Citizenship Award and this treasure. Congratulations! Oh, one more thing. I have received a message from the dwarves who reside in the Red Dwarf Range. They have urgently requested help and promised great reward to whoever is brave enough to come. Apparently, their gem mines have been invaded by the Mad Dwarf Clan, preventing them from mining. Help them out and report back. All right. Oh, wow, a lot of XP. Wow, a lot of gold. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, how do we get training? Training grounds, number five. So there. Trying to see here. So, okay. So, yeah, there's the iron works. I think the training grounds then are somewhere right around. Yeah, there's the mirror. I think it's. No, that's the maps. Looks like it's in here. Yeah, there we go. Train. This is my favorite part. Looking to train? train. Good job. Good job. Whoa. Not today. Wow, Good this is job. a big Good leap job. forward. Holy Not cow. Today. Not Whoa. Today. Not yeah. today. Oh. oh. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Not today. Hey, look at this guy. Good job. Not today. Alright, so we got a couple guys out. So did he get his 
Yeah, he's got plenty of uh, plenty of spell points now. <laughs> that will help out a lot. And cast another one on my poor old. And who's that? I'm gonna have to look this up. It's like Peter York is his name. Michael York. I think Peter Tork is the monkeys. <laughs> Michael York. He's looks kind of like a Michael York and maybe a cross between him and Kevin Serbo. Okay, so let's get you trained up. Good job. Good job. Let's see. Oh my god. Not today. Okay, so that was freaking awesome. You see how JVC gets his hooks into you? <laughs> like, yeah, you're like sloughing through, slogging, and you're like, oh my god, every, everything sucks. And then he gives you this big old boost. And you're like, oh man, I can't stop now. I gotta go find something to, to, prove, to prove myself. <laughs> you know what, though? I got some more cash. I'm gonna go get... Well, let's, uh... Ah, what to do? <laughs> um... Let's do this guild, I guess. I think this is how we get more spells. Uh, anyone on the guild roll for free? It doesn't Dudes say... Will cost 25 gold, what though. guild? I don't... Well, let's just start with him. I'll put anyone on the guild roll for free. Okay, what does Dudes that will cost mean, though? Gold. Dudes will cost 25. Hang on, I don't understand this. Let me get some clarity. All right, so I just have not been able to figure out exactly how this guild system works in this game, but I know in previous games you had to join the guilds and then you can find people to sell spells to you. Question is, I'm not sure where you go for spells. It's not on, not even in the clue book. Tavern, temple. Display cases. Uh, I don't want to spend too long just wandering around with no clue where to go. I did read that this well now apparently will st restore your health for free. Slime, back to the slime temples. Is this where I get spells? May we help you? Nope. Where do I buy spells? It's kind of strange they wouldn't tell you. Hang on. Alright, I think I found a place. <laughs> Gilbert, Texas. Sounds kind of promising. This wasn't even in my clue book. They don't even mention this place. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, you pay good money for a clue book and I don't even label the map properly. Just double checking. Yeah, it's just not listed on there. Can you believe that? Six. Well, I guess it is labeled. Never mind. <laughs> it just says guild. <laughs> Welcome to the guild. Ooh, she's very smart. Is she an elf? Kind of a cranial thing going there. So Buzzard's like, let me grab your earring. Man, I, I love this music and ambiance so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, who needs spells? Members only. Members only. Okay, let's see about E a bit first. Energy blast, insect spray, jump, shrap metal. Ooh, wizard eye for sure. The view will appear in the upper right corner of the green game screen. Yes, that's that's going to be essential. Let's see, what does he have already? Uh, members, members only. You know, I'm going to go back and. Uh, members only. Members only. Members only. <laughs> Punny doesn't need spell. Not a spell fast cast. Oh, wasted money on that. <laughs> okay, but let me get all my spell casters a membership. Where did you go, Tins? I'll put anyone on the guild. Him. I think the archer, maybe. I'll put anyone. And the paladin. Okay. 
Might have blown a little money there, but okay. Welcome to the guild. Members only. Alright, let's see. Yeah, he can learn some spells too. Ooh, you know, two first days would be would be great. Enjoy. What is re revitalize? Removes the weak condition. Probably important, but awaken, cure wounds, flying fist, pain, sparks. I think I'll get cure wounds. That just sounds like a good thing to have. Suppress poison. Slows the effect of a poison, but does not remove it. Enjoy. Well, it's probably better to suppress it than to do nothing. Okay. I'm probably going to want to save his spell points for healing. Now, this is the archer. Magic arrow. Fires a magical bolt at one opponent, inflicting eight points of magical damage. I don't know if that'd be better than just his uh, regular arrows or not at this point. Now, let's jump do. Jump over one square, provided there are no walls of matter or magic. That sounds like a good dungeon-y quest uh, spell. Probably useful for puzzles. Eh, maybe hold off a little bit on it, though. Let's see. What's cheap? <laughs> if all else fails, what's cheap? Puts a group of monsters to sleep. I don't really want to... It might be good to have... Uh, I'll do Toxic Cloud, Enjoy. just to give him something to, to cast. Now this is uh, the Sorcerer, so I probably want to spend some money here. Let's energy Blast. I think that sounds Enjoy. useful. Specially designed to kill insects, Enjoy. yes. <laughs> okay, I'm out of cash, unfortunately. Let's take what money we have left, go back to the store, gear up as best we can. You know, you get up to a point in a game like this where it probably just kind of starts to come together. What are starting you to get to that point, and I love it. Okay, what do we got? You know, I should keep the manual handy on it table for the weapons. Just to... I thought that said flickering or flaming margarita for a second. I think somebody's got some extra armor, right? So, I thought somebody had some, yeah, some extra armor there, so that. There's 50 more gold. Okay, he's got some leather skin. I think my barbarian's limited to scale. This guy can go up to chain. Chain would be better than the ring, man. Let's see, what's he got? Okay, let's go ahead and buy that uh, chain. Do I have enough gold? Barely. You know, now we're really gonna have to get into like micromanagement. Item. Put that on. Remove that. <laughs> Just remove that. Just remove it. <laughs> okay, that'll give him a little bit more. Now we gotta sell that what are you armor. Okay. 63 gold left. He doesn't have any, as far as I can see, any ranged weapons. That would be the ideal. Oh, a shield. Oh, wow, it's 500 gold for something. A helm. I wonder what a helm does. I mean, I know what a helm does, but you know what I mean. Come on. Jewels of fists. Orbs of sleeping. Well... 
be able to get a small upgrade for one of these guys. See what kind of weapons we're rocking. I get a helmet on somebody. Who's got the worst AC? AC six five. I wonder if the archer can wear the helmet. That might be smart. Wait, who did I give it to? There we go. Uh, let's give that to the archer. Maybe keep him alive a little bit. Oh, I see. I got some robes too. I could sell. Let's see how much that does. So he's got AC4. Wear the armor. For the helm. Let's see if that bopped it up at all. Wow, two! Wow, that was a great purchase. <laughs> Awards. Okay. Skills. Swimmer. Oh, that's what else I need to do, right? I need to get some skills. I think I spent all my money. I don't think we get money for fighting anything. We tried, I suppose. I, guess. I mean, I could go around killing all the stuff. I don't think I'll get any more XP, unfortunately. Doom bug is dead. Where are these crates, though? Maybe I'll find some treasure in these. You boom! You can see why you want to have ranged weapons on everybody, though. And that's this map is weird. I don't quite get it. Okay, this is like a room. Not been here. I want to see a tent. I will teach anyone pathfinding for twenty five hundred gold. I don't. I think I've already got it though, right? One of these guys. I don't. There's certain skills you need everybody to have, and there's cartographer. Well, hang on. I guess pathfinding. <laughs> what does pathfinding do? You know, for some reason I just could not search this Adobe. This manual uh, won't let me search it. Uh, let's see, what was that? 39. To actually go by pages. This skill allows you to move through a dense forest. At least two characters must have it. Okay, so I do need to have it. I don't have nearly enough gold for it yet. But I need to remember this place. Come back here. Oh, what was that? Best control by Joe. <laughs> yeah, good job, Joe. been here. Let's see some more bugs. Kind of want to try that spell, the pest control. Let's see, no. Oh, he's got a bunch of spells here. We should do the wizard eye too, but let's try an insect spray. Got to be up on it. Can I cast it? But range? So many questions. And sex spray. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if you could search for keywords in this Adobe? It's just lazy. I mean, any, you should make it so you can search this manual. And sex spray. Doesn't say if it's ranged or not. It says it cost a gem. It actually cost a gem to cast that thing? Oh, maybe I shouldn't use it. <laughs> How many gems do I have? Well, I didn't even know that was the thing. Oh well, 
podcast. So a gem, huh? Hardy gems. Zero and bang. Wow. So I guess there's certain spells here you really don't want to use. <laughs> Try the wizard eye. Oh, neat! Oh, it's a mini map. Okay, that works. That's cool. Let's put him back on like energy blast. Surely that doesn't require a gem. No, even that takes a gem. One spell per point per level and one gem. Wow, so they make casting spells really expensive in this game. Holy heck. Or maybe that's the only purpose for the gems. What about a magic arrow? Does that cost gems? No, that one doesn't. Okay, so you probably want to make that your default spell. Okay, let's see. Uh, probably make the toxic cloud. I bet you that. Cost a gem. It sounds like it cost a gem, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it's for a whole group of monsters. First aid, light. First aid, so we got. It's got a couple of spell points. Okay, I'm gonna put some around. He's almost ready to level again. Much easier. Oh, I shouldn't have got right up on those dumb. This is the tavern again. So I need to be in there. Oh, what was that little sound? Oh, I guess lets you know he's eligible for training. certainly do that. Get his level. Looking to train? Not enough gold! What do I have to do to get gold in this game? Almost spell wore off. Didn't last very long, did it? I don't like this system. This is a bit tedious. Okay, I've already been through here. I guess we're are we ready to go to the ready to go on to the dwarves? I see a couple extra things here. Tough battle. What is this? Search. Nothing. Found a helmet. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, take this helmet out of the garbage. It's gonna be good. It's okay. A frost helm? What the heck's a frost helm do? Am I supposed to know what a frost down does? I'm gonna look it up because of course it's not anywhere in there. <laughs> Come on, frost town! Magic zine frost helm. Why am I not finding this anywhere? We just don't know what it does. I'm going to have it ID'd. Maybe it's cursed? I don't know. I guess we'll try it out. Say C is 6 right now. Let's... I wonder if the mage or the sorcerer can wear it. Probably not. 
I uh, guess they can't. Okay, AC of four. Well, if it's not cursed, it might be a good thing. AC is now six. Okay, let's see if we can take it off. <laughs> That's usually the test. You know, if it's cursed, you can't take it off. Okay. So why is it a frost helm? What? So it gives some resistance maybe to frost? Yeah, cold. Okay, so 10. Just verify that by taking it off again. I'm reasonably sure. Would make sense. Yeah, so that gives uh, armor and some frost resistance and it's a helmet so even the uh, sorcerer can wear it. <laughs> Yay! And there's some more garbage. Oh, is that the same garbage? We will try. I actually wanted to search the garbage but... track of which garbages I've searched already. Have I searched that? No. I'm getting confused about where I've been already. I think. Yeah, there's a crate I haven't opened. Must not have been here yet. I found about everything there is to find. In the bed, who will search the bed? Plate metal, yeah! No, he can't wear it. I see, did I give it to my. The paladin art has already got it. Okay. Now maybe the cleric. No. Oh, crap. Nobody can wear it. No. Oh, that stinks. So the only guy that can wear it's already got a set. But you know what? You can always sell that sucker. Okay, so yeah, I need to search all these little uh, beds. Nothing here. That's probably where the luck kicks in, I bet. Yeah, I bet you the higher your luck score, the more treasure you find. Out of business. Out of business. Where's that map store? Okay, they said this thing will bring your hit points back. You feel refreshed. So now I don't have to use my spells. I can just use this handy dandy well. Probably be spreading those save games out though. All right, how much gold do I have? Oh, where's party gold? 48? That ain't enough. I see some slime. Does that slime just constantly regenerate, I wonder? I feel like I've opened these gates already. I don't know if they're are they automatically shutting. Are they shut after so long, maybe. I'll make one nice circumference. 
trying to make sure I didn't skip anything. Nothing here. Okay, nothing here. Man, what do you think? Are we ready to move on to the dwarven place? No, oh, here's a crate. A bunch of crates. Nothing's here. He's simply mad. He keeps going back to the same bedroom and searching and searching and searching, but never finding. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back, sell that unneeded plate mail, and train up. And then I think we'll be uh, good to try to find that dwarven place. You had it. That's armor. Yeah, 500 gold. I think I also have some robes here I could sell. Still no, uh, no bows for sale. And the shield's out of my price range. All right, that maybe will be enough to cover the training. We'll see. Looking to train? Good job. It's gonna be tight. Good job. Not today. Good job. Oh, one of those characters couldn't Not train. Today. I wonder why some could and some couldn't. Though. Okay. You lose track of time on a game like this. Let's try to get at least to the next zone. I think we can exit. Quit there, maybe. What's this? Quest items, auto notes, hit points restored. Slay the king of the Mad Dwarf clan. Report back to Major Gunther. I need a little bit more guidance than that. Dwarves at what's the dwarf mines? Oh, mines can be fine, but I don't want to do that. How do I get to the dwarf? Hang on. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find this dwarven village. Something about a first bend of the oh damn! <laughs> what happened to Matt? Jeez, must be poisoned. Yeah, poisoned. <laughs> well, I did get that uh, spell, right? The slow poison. Let's go ahead and cast that on. I did specify that this doesn't work all that well. Man, these things are everywhere too. Is that poison? Negative one. Getting in front of my bow, yes. No, this is not right. This is zombies. It's like a pretty cool skeleton. Man, I butt kicked here. Are people insane? What's going on with them? I'm just trying to get back to town. I got it. I'm going the right way. Jeez. All right. Let's. Oops. 
I don't know what it's gonna take to get rid of these conditions. Great. That's probably gonna cost me there. Welcome to the guild. Suppress poison first day, cure wounds. I don't see anything there about disease, so I'll probably just have to pay to get that off me. It's too bad this doesn't get rid of those pesky conditions. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy, does he? about first aid. If you can wake up the cleric, he can uh, wake up the mage again. <laughs> Look at their faces. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I guess I gotta go to the temple and pay a fortune. At least get my wizard eye back up. Not enough points for that. Uh, where's that temple? Like right in the middle. That's not it. It's a little bit over. See what Maybe this is going to cost. You? Heal. A hundred gold. Jeez Louise. I wonder why some of them cost different amounts. Well, gee, what am I supposed to do with this crew? I don't think I ever picked up anything to sell either. You know, we can't have an archer without a bow. Let's remove the bow from this guy and give it to the archer. I just now realized my archer does not have a bow equipped. So how do I get rid of diseased? I suppose I'd be lucky enough for it just to go away naturally. Let's see, is it possible that it's in the book somewhere? Cure disease. I don't know. Gotta be some way to get rid of it. I guess we could try to rest. Nope, still there. Actually got worse. Jesus. Let me reload. I don't, wanna... I don't want it to be worse. get rid of the disease this is the sort of thing I mean how hard would it be just to tell you like how to get rid of the disease <laughs> a disease you can get a suppressed disease spell suppressed disease poison He's poisoned. I can do the suppress on some of these people. No, oh, I think I did it on the wrong one. Oh, he's poisoned and diseased. Okay, maybe I can. 
stupid snake fight. If I keep cast on that, does it go away? I don't have enough points anyway. Well, let's see. Might and magic. Zine. Do diseases. Never go away. <laughs> Poison cure disease can only be bought. How do I get these effects off me? It's starting to piss me off. How do you get rid of that disease? Maybe I have maybe that temple's the only answer, but I don't have enough gold. stuck at this point. I don't know what to do. I don't have enough money to go to the temple. I don't really have anything I can sell. Maybe I'm just screwed at this point. May we help you? Uh, maybe a donation would be sufficient. Then I just took more of my gold. I guess we're just stuck with these. Maybe I can find some more treasure and come back. That sucks, though. You know, where the heck is this damn dwarven place? Says, uh, leave her to go follow the road until the branch is right. Take the branch and follow it to the first mud. So that's, that's a turn, not a branch. Is that what they're talking about? Maybe this is taking it. Whoa, something. Maybe this thing will have some treasure. <laughs> There's 10 gold. That reminds me, I gotta get. Okay, this must be the first mine. Okay. Whoa, okay. This is where. This is why I guess you need the light spell. Ooh, and I already see a bat. He's dispatched. Let's get wizard eye kit. Not enough points. Okay, but if I rest, then all those diseases and everything will get worse, so I don't know what to do. Maybe there'll be some treasure in this dungeon before long. I'll go back and get cured. You aren't strong enough. Yeah, I'm not strong enough. Red liquid. Isn't that... Red liquid. I think that is uh, might. To might. Okay, so probably this guy. Alright, that's pretty neat. Oh, I probably shouldn't have saved over my game though. <laughs> Poor crew. White liquid. I can find a little guide to this real quick. Let's see. White liquid gives you luck. There we go. White liquid is luck. Barrel research. Barrel is empty. You know, it seems like I read somewhere where you can't get above 20 on your stats. 
You know, so I might have wasted some points there. I don't remember if I read that or if I'm just making it up. We can easily test it though. Okay, red liquid. Let's see. So this might. This is 22. No, it goes above it. All right, let's just try it again. His might is 15. All right, let me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to save it here, and we'll just see if this. If I give it to to her. Yeah, so it does keep going up. And nothing of value. Of course. So scratch that. I guess you could just. Probably we wouldn't want to have everything on one character though. Rubble. Nothing in the rubble. Nothing of value. Ew, what's this? Scribbled on a piece of parchment a note reads Dwarven Travel Codes. Mine one, mine two, mine three, mine four. Is that literally the code? Just type in mine one. What is that thing? Where to? Oh. Interesting. I forgot what it is I'm supposed to be doing in here. <laughs> Just clearing it out. Looking for a mad king. Ooh, a bunch of stuff. Wow, look at all that. Wow, that was a bunch of stuff in there. Okay, now I should be in business. A cutlass. Alright, let's see. Should be damage or something here somewhere, right? HP, might 24. AC level, skills. You tell what weapon is better. You know, that should be something. Maybe it's in the manual. Let's see. Yeah, surely there is a, uh, a table with all the weapons on it. Okay, World of Zine. Sorry, I'm looking at the manual here again. Cleric spells, secondary skills, quest items, and notes. No, nothing there. What about the clue book? Items. 203. What's previous? Go to page 203 already. Come on. Mod. Okay. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Items. So bronze. Cutlass. Oh, jeez. There's something to do with, like, the bronze is not as good as the... How does that work? Bronze is plus two to hit. What is it? If it doesn't specify, what is it? <laughs> I don't know anything. Is a bronze cutlass? Is that better than just a plain longsword? I have no idea. Uh, blazing, there are five different metals. Equipping an armor or weapon item that has a metal modifier also enhances character stats. For an armor item, equipping it will increase and some increase decrease. Equipping a weapon with a metal prefix. Adds the character's chance to hit, as well as the amount of damage inflicted per hit. Contains a cost. A silver item. 
Accessories with a metal modifier. So apparently that the fact that it's made out of bronze is better. Okay, it's a little bonus. So and I think the bonus is again a plus two to hit, a minus two to damage. And a minus one to AC. So not I guess a bit of a trade off there. I'll stick with the bronze cutlass for now, I suppose. All right, cudgel. He also picked up some split mail. Is the split mail better than the armor? It's like nobody can wear it. Oh, he can wear it. Okay. AC of four. Let's see if this bumps him up above four. Yep, that's quite a nice improvement. And that leaves him with some ring mail. And did we determine if that was better? You see six, move, scale, equip, ring mail, yes, equip. Seven. Yeah, so that's a little better too. Okay, so some nice upgrades there. We're not even done. Gotta figure out this long sword situation. A rod of curing. Does that cure everything? That would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm hopeful if that'll work, that'd save me a lot of a lot of pain. Cudgel. I don't know who wants a cudgel. Right, long sword, a halberd. Let's give the long sword to the paladin. I mean, that's a more appropriate weapon, I think, than nunchucks. Okay. I think that's about it, right? Weapon. Staff versus cudgel. Cudgel, base cost 15, base damage 1 to 16. Staff is 2 to 8 damage. Okay, that's helpful to know. Longsword is 3 to 9 damage. Nunchucks 2 to 6. Cutlass 2 to 8. Let's see, I'm looking at a little guide I found online. Bronze. Bronze. Weapon bonus. Minus two. Plus two to hit. Maybe this will tell me what the rod of curing does. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Um, save. Now, how do we use that item? Is this going to use it on himself? On whom? Is these two... Did it do anything? Let's see. Use. On whom? Myself. No. I don't know what that cure is. Apparently it doesn't... Sure. That doesn't make sense. It should do something. Still poisoned. Maybe it only does poison. Let's try it one more time. Let's see, is it? Him? I don't know if it's not working or it's. Maybe it considers who's using it. Let's try to load that. Nope. Try to load that back up and see. Maybe it would prefer that the cleric use it. So 
miscellaneous, give that to the clerk. Okay, now he right now has two poison. Okay, let's see if it works on poison. Use auto curing. Oh, didn't do anything. Maybe it just does hit points. I was hoping that would, uh, really hoping that would cure uh, conditions, but okay, we'll take it. Let's see, does he have any of his, hit, his magic powers left? Yeah, let's go ahead. Not enough spell points. Okay. Well, at least we got some stuff we can sell. Who's this? Mad Dwarf. Is this the Mad Dwarf we've been sent here to kill? Oh no. <laughs> that answers that question. Ooh. We're not making it out of this fight. search it. Let's see, does he have enough to use his uh, current spell points? He can just do that a couple times and that's it. <laughs> Found some scale armor. A saber. Something value under the bed. Search the barrel. The barrel, it's empty. Okay, well, I think this, I think we're probably far enough along now for you to make a pretty good decision about whether this game is for you or not. I gotta say, I'm having a hell of a good time with this. I would love to just keep going, but <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> uh, so much stuff I have to do. You know how it is, but I just want to put a video out because it had been like almost a month. Apologies for that. And hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, maybe I'll make another video, a little follow-up to this if I find some time to play it some more. Uh, what are my thoughts in general on this? Um, it it's amazing how quickly it starts to feel like uh, Might and Magic Six, which again is one of my favorite games of all time. It's a little bit of a changes. Obviously, this came out before. You don't have the fluid movement, but you know that's again kind of surprising how quickly you get over that. Uh, I really like all the possibilities that start to open up here as you play more. You really start to notice differences. <laughs> I think JVC, they're, they're, he's kind of a master at, you know, giving you these sort of things that bother you. So you really want to keep going. So it's not like it's just you're playing just so you can get better weapons and, I, and armor and stuff. You also keep playing because you want to get rid of these sort of annoying things he throws at you all the time. You know, I'm just like itching right now to go back to town. And get rid of those conditions and come back and finish exploring this dwarven mine. So that's a sign of a good game, uh, at least in my opinion. I haven't even opened up like the. Uh, there's a lot of skills that would help me with navigation. <laughs> just, you know, I feel like I'm just at the start of this adventure, uh, even after all this this time playing. And you know, this is a huge thing too. I mean, you got the whole this whole game, and then you carry your characters into the next game. So it's not like the other, you know, six seven where you. Nate, where you're creating a new party every time. You actually take these guys into the next adventure, and you got a whole other uh, world of stuff to do there. So, <laughs> there's a reason it's considered one of the great CRPGs of all time. Uh, but it's so cheap, and even if you just get it and play it as much as I have here, I think it's well worth the price of admission. But uh, my guess is you're going to get hooked and want to play it all the way through. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got tips or suggestions for me, <laughs> love to hear those. Please uh, add those in the comments. You know, you, you try to research things, but there's always something you just uh, can't figure out uh, without 
you know, basically where experience pays off <laughs> more than research. <laughs> uh, so if you have any tips or suggestions, love to hear those. But uh, again, I'm going to stop it here and I'll see you guys uh, next time. And that's all for this month's episode. <laughs> Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. And I do apologize, uh, folks, very sincerely for the, the time it takes to get these videos out. You know, I'm not going to complain too much, but it's just been extremely busy here. You know, I try to make these videos uh, whenever I can. But believe me, I'd much rather be doing this than the other stuff I have to do. It's <laughs> part of earning a living, you know, and all, all that good stuff. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the busy factor will go down here uh, within the next few weeks, or certainly by the next few months, and be able to start pumping these videos out again in a reasonable time frame. Uh, but for the time being, I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, from the absolute inner sanctum of my heart for making this show possible, making Match Hat possible, keeping the shows in production. Could not do it without you. So if you like these videos, you want to see more, uh, help me to get to 500. You know, it's not too much, <laughs> too much more to go. Uh, just follow that link in the show notes to the Match Hat Patreon site. You can make a one-time donation, set up a subscription, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you like to do. <laughs> just, I appreciate you. So thank you, thank you, thank you very, very, very much. All right, what about that news from the Matt Cave? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm kind of pumped about this game called Call of Saregnar. That's S-A-R-E-G-N-A-R. -E it's a nod to the era of party-based RPGs from the 90s. <laughs> Basically what Match Hat is all about. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, you probably recognize some of the inspirations here. It kind of looks like Betrayal of Crondor, maybe Betrayal of Natara. Again, some of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Neil, <laughs> you know, I've had him on the show. He did the writing on those. Uh, just... Uh, you know, epic games, and this looks really, really promising. I mean, check this out. Uh, follow an intriguing story with interesting characters in a unique low fantasy medieval setting, handcrafted 3D world that begs to be explored. All right, so uh, there's a demo out now, so you can check it out, kick the wheels, or kick the tires on this, see if it's something you'd be interested in. It's pretty, pretty cool, and as soon as this game is out, you better believe you're going to see it here on Match Chat. All right, second up, Mecha Jammer version 1.08 patch is out. So remember this game, uh, it came out, a bunch of bugs, kind of unfortunate, kind of bad. <laughs> you know, they've been working on it around the clock, uh, Joe and Hannah, ever since, trying to get all the bugs worked out and add some stuff that they wanted to get in, but of course ran out of time. And so it looks like they've come a long ways already. Uh, this 1.08 adds a hexagonal grid mode and a whole bunch of new stuff, UI fixes and, and bug fixes, of course, improvements. Uh, it's, it's really starting to look like it's time to cover this game. <laughs> so I'm thinking probably that'll be the next match chat. You know, we'll see what happens in the meantime. But if you're already playing it, let me know what you think. Should I hold off? Is it, is it good to go? You know, just let me know what you think. Uh, and then finally, Game Banshee was posting about this game called Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. Now, I got admit, I had uh, first time hearing about this game, <laughs> uh, even though it looks like exactly the sort of thing I like. Uh, Party-based fantasy RPG. It's got that isometric view, reminiscent of, say, Baldur's Gate. Uh, it's from a company called Grape Ocean Technologies. Uh, so they had a Steam post up talking about the lore of the game, but I'm just kind of uh, <laughs> more interested in this... Uh, uh, in this game they're creating, I want to know what the sort of rules are, the, the gameplay, how it's going to hopefully they do a good job with the combat and the story. It appears that the theme of this is Civil War and Greed. So I'm very, very intrigued by this. I'm going to keep an eye on it. And once again, that is called Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. All right. What about that Ale of the Week? Well, it just so happens I've already done <laughs> this entire segment, <laughs> um, but I forgot to turn my microphone on. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, what I'm uh, sampling here today is the Sweetwater 420 Imperial IPA. Uh, I'm a big fan of Imperials. You know, they tend to be on the strong side, so you don't certainly don't want to chug these things. But, you know, if you just want like one or two uh, beers, you know, you're fine. Um, 
Let's see, this is uh, out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Don't float the mainstream is their motto. And let's see what they say about it here. So apparently they have a 420 already, and this is just the imperial version of it. It's kind of like the premium version, I guess. Bold, flavor-packed new brother. <clears throat> Fresh combo of hops for added intensity and complexity. So supposedly it's got mango, peach, pineapple, citrus, and pine uh, flavors in the profile. And so I like all those flavors. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, independently brewed since 1997. Uh, so I have some in the in my Aussie glass, as you can see the the bubbles on there. Still a lot of a uh, little micro bubble action. It had a nice head when I poured it, uh, and I've tried it out of the glass, and of course with drinking water. And the funny thing is, they taste completely different. And actually, you're probably not surprised that the uh, drinking horn <laughs> uh, tastes much better than the glass. But um, anyway. You know, when I'm, you know, when I'm smelling it from the glass, uh, you know, probably more than anything, it smells sort of citrusy, maybe a little bit of a pine. Uh, and that's about all you can smell. But when you taste it, <clears throat> you know, it's a, it's a big flavor, big, uh, uh, sort of big punch, not an alcoholic punch. And actually, more than anything, it reminds me of a grapefruit. <laughs> which was not, I believe, uh, on their list. Uh, maybe a little bit of mango, you know, I can sort of uh, uh, detect that. Not really sensing any pine. Now let's switch over to the drinking horn. Uh, my preferred beverage container. Now here you really smell, maybe it's like the shape, you know, it kind of focuses the aroma. But here you really smell all of those uh, uh, hops they were talking about and those... Um, various uh, aroma and flavor profiles. And it's uh, very lemony, almost a coriander. And it, just, it just smells really good coming out of this drinking horn. I'll give it a taste here. Very, very, very smooth. You know, I wonder if, if there's like qualities <laughs> uh, of the horn, but they take away all that sort of a, a metallic taste. Uh, that you might get in, the, in, a, in a can if you just pour the can into a glass. Sometimes it sort of tastes a little bit canny, uh, if you will. Uh, you don't get that in a drinking horn. I mean, it's, it's completely smooth, uh, very uh, aromatic. I'll try one more taste. <laughs> yeah, just a really good imperial taste. Sometimes the imperials can be really syrupy and thick and dark. <laughs> You know, really super sweet. You know, it's, it's almost like uh, drinking some type of medicine uh, sometimes. But um, you know, these sweet uh, where to go? <laughs> these sweet water guys don't make that mistake. You know, it's very flavorful. Uh, you don't really taste any alcohol, oddly enough. You know, it's just a really smooth, um, really kind of velvety, a little bit of a chocolate grapefruit, kind of what uh, stands out to me with this. But anyway, uh, I would go four out of five drinking horns on. The Four out of five drinking horns, I think it's getting to me, <laughs> uh, on this already. Uh, very smooth, very tasty. You know, I think if you like Imperials, you'll, you'll definitely want to check this out. And it's cheap, uh, so how can you go wrong with that? All right, uh, let's wrap it up with a quote. And I was looking for quotes that have something to do with poison, because it's a, <laughs> it's a might and magic game. You're constantly getting poison. So I just went to brainy quotes, typed in poison. It's a surprisingly a large number of quotes, but I really like this one. It's by St. Augustine, and I think there's something here for all of us. Uh, it goes something like this. Resentment. Resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Hmm. So ponder on that, and see you guys next time.
I suggest a new strategy, Artu. Let the Wookiee win, 